Hello. Thank you for this Heroes Award from the Sepsis Alliance. My passion for sepsis care is not because of the science. It was almost 25 years ago that I almost lost a family member to sepsis. As I watched my sister-in-law lay in the emergency department, progressing from a simple insect bite to septic shock, I realized that my current research in cardiac arrest should immediately take a backseat to sepsis. It was George Washington Carver who said, excellence is doing common things in uncommon places. This was a much needed solution for sepsis as many patients lay in emergency departments around the world unrecognized with no basic care. So I began to apply basic concepts that were routinely practiced in the ICU to the emergency department at the most proximal phase of the disease presentation. These first principles began as excruciating baby steps initially to many who did not understand. These concepts include surge, lactate, antibiotics, early resuscitation or early goal-directed therapy. The energy and wisdom of these maneuvers were a reflection of the giants that I trained under. And these giants were Dr. Bill Shoemaker, Max Harry Weil, Peter Sapper, Roger Bone, Jim Snyder, Dr. Frank, and Dr. Wilson. It was almost 15 years ago that I met another giant, Dr. Flatley. And we have since shared this journey together. So as I accept this award, I celebrate all those who provided me with the foundation to apply these concepts. Theodore Roosevelt said, do what you can with what you have where you are. Following this model, we can now provide improved sepsis diagnosis and care to all those immediately upon disease presentation. And as I conclude, Dr. Martin Luther King also stated, our lives began to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. This best describes Dr. Flately, who has been an advocate for sepsis care in the last two decades. So in conclusion, I wanna thank the Sepsis Alliance for the honor of making me a sepsis hero this is a moment I will never forget. Thank you.